Today we're going to do a quick, easy lower third for you. So the first thing we're going to do is make our lower third. So we're going to do a simple one to start off with. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab a square. Let's head down to shapes. I'm going to grab a square. And I'm just going to make it into a rectangle. You can make it as long, as short as you need. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to grab a frame. You can grab whatever frame you want to use. I am going to use a circle frame. What I want to do with this too is I want to add on my rectangle, I want to add a border. And then I want to add, I'm going to check my border weight on that. I want the same. So I got that at 16. Let's take that down to about 10. And then I want to do the same on this. I want to make that a 10. Make that a, the same. I am going to kind of line them up here. And I want some corner rounded on here. So let's get that rounded and kind of look like it kind of matches. And then I'm going to pull that in a little bit. And there you go. That's I like that. And then I'm going to go in here and pick my color. I'm going to do this blue this way. And then I am going to go into my uploads. I am going to grab a picture of my new puppy. And I am going to put his picture there. And then the next thing I want to do is go do my text. Now you can go and get a text box. You can use some of these text apps like, um, let's see what I got, where I got, what I got. Um, Met text maker or something like that to do the fancy text. We'll do one with text maker. So I'll just pick out something cool. Let's do this one. And I'm going to put his name. Duke. Let's do it all in caps. Duke. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the design. I'm going to get rid of this text box because I'm not going to use it. But you can use a text box or you can use something fancy like this. And I'll put that in there. So now that I got that in there and I like the way I have it. You can put your name. You can also make it longer if you want to kind of scroll it and have like a sentence or something down at the bottom. Make sure we group it all together. What I'm going to do is move it down to the bottom. I'm going to reduce it to a lower third. Now, now when you reduce shapes and stuff like that, you'll notice the curvature changes. So go back up into your corner rounding and start moving it back to the way you like it. And if your circle is in an odd place you can just ungroup this and we can move stuff over to make it look right or if you want to you can just put it in here like so wherever however you want to design your lower third and once you got it looking like you want you're just going to group it together i'm going to go into positions tab i'm going to layers i'm going to make sure i click on my group before I go to animate. Sometimes if you don't, it will only animate one piece versus animating the whole thing. So I want to go to animate. I want to scroll down and find wipe. So I'm going to go into wipe. And then what I want to do is I want to set how long, how fast I want to come in. If you want to come in super fast, you're going to turn it up. And this is a pro feature. It comes in pretty normally, a good speed if you have free. So don't worry if you got free, it's still going to work. But if you want to go faster, if you've got pro or slower, if you have pro, you have that option to change the speed on your lower third. But we're going to just leave it in the middle for like a free user. And then what you want to do now is go in and get your video. I'm going to go and just pull up a video here. And I am going to go set this as a background. So now is my lower third. I'm going to put it a little bit lower. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go in a position so I can grab it. I'm going to click the three dots right here. I'm going into show timing. So now I don't want it to come up in the very, right at when the video starts. I want it to come in a little bit. So I'm going to change that timing and have it come in a little bit after the video starts. So here we go. And there you go. There's your lower third coming in. Ta-da. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And also if you want to with your lower third, you can go into elements. We can put in a rectangle enter. Don't use a shape. You can use a graphic. So you can use something like a paint swatch like this. Go get you some text. We'll add a heading. We'll put in my name, Michelle. 
and I am just going to, for easy peasy, I'm just going to put in, let's see, something. We'll do that. I kind of like this, this little one right here, or lazy dog, or whatever you want to do. Make Put your bells and whistles on it if you want to. I'm going to take it and change it to white, because... And then I'm going to add a black shadow, kind of get it popping off a little bit. I am going to add some blur to it. I'm going to make it a little bit darker and something simple like this. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to group it together. I'm going to put it in the corner here. I want to kind of that, like it look like a little tag with my name on it. And then I'm just going to move it over a little bit. And then I'll go and upload a video. Let's go look at it. what kind of other videos are here. Um, I don't know what this is. Here we go. We'll just use whatever this one is going on. And I'll set that one as the background. And then we'll watch that one with the, the other little lower third. Oh, y'all see what I forgot to do there? What did I forget to do? I forgot to go add my animation. So let's go into the position. Grab that one. Go into animate. Hit that white button. And then... We can just adjust the speed if you got pro. If not, it's not. So I wanted to go come in a little bit faster. So we'll look at that again. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there's your lemon, your lower third. And you can do all kinds of things with your lower third. You can make it fancy, make it plain and simple. You can add different things and have different lower thirds with your timing. So say I like this one. Um, let me go into position real quick. I am going to control C this and I am going to bring it over here and control V it. Say you have another person coming in. So say I want this lower third coming in here and this one going out. So I am going to change my timing. So like there's a second person coming in there. So let's watch that real quick. So there's the Duke one. And then I want to come in and there's Michelle. So you can do that if you have different people talking. You can actually do multiple lower thirds and just use your timing feature. And that's how easy that is. And I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I love you guys and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye y'all.